Hey guys, Adam here. I just wanted to do a quick video to show you guys the process of setting up a, a site in Dreamweaver again. Just so uh, you guys have the video and you can watch it over and make sure you don't miss anything and really understand the process of setting it up. Um, I do think that setting up a site in Dreamweaver is a, a good way to get started with any project. Just because uh, it, Dreamweaver will manage all your files for you and uh, especially the fact that it'll automatically upload everything to the web for you. It'll save you a lot of hassle in the end of having to um, manually do that process yourself, especially if you're going to be doing updates um, on a regular basis. or um, And when you're learning to, it, it'll be good to, to know how to do that or, or to have Dreamweaver do that for you. Um, so I'm in Dreamweaver here. And uh, to get started, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go up to this site menu and uh, say new site. Okay, and it'll prompt you to ask you for a, a couple things here. Site name. This is just uh, something so you can remember it. I'm going to be really clever here and name this my site. Okay, and Dreamweaver, uh, this is just so next time you come into Dreamweaver, you will be able to remember it by whatever you name that. And you'll be able to work on that project the next time you come back. It's also asking for a local site folder here. Um, this is just the, the folder that's going to have all the files uh, for your for your website. So you you can either make this ahead of time somewhere on your computer, or uh, if if you haven't done so, you can just click this browse for folder icon right here, and uh, it'll bring up one of these uh, open windows or whatever. And you can find the folder you made, or like I said, if you haven't done it, you can maybe right click and say new folder. And I'll call this my site. Okay, I, I just did that on Windows, but you can do the same thing on a Mac. Uh, let's go back here. Oh, I've made this folder before. Okay. Um, yeah, you can, uh, you can do the same thing on a Mac. Um, just with uh, using control click instead of uh, right click obviously so uh, there's the folder I just made okay open that up and we'll just hit select so so now we have this site uh, or this folder um, ready ready to go for this site and everything I save uh, when I have this uh, site selected down here in my files panel Anytime I save a file now, it's going to save it down here into this site. And uh, Dreamweaver is also going to manage all, the, all my files for that site for me. The other thing we can do here is set uh, this, uh, this site up uh, so that it hooks up with our web host uh, via FTP uh, so that it will automatically upload any files that we save to, uh, to our web host via this, uh, this arrow here. When you click it, you can upload the files to, to your web host, or you can just have it synchronized with this, um, this faded out icon right here. It'll automatically detect if you have a newer version on your computer, or even if there's a newer version on the server, it will detect that too and ask you if you want to download it and replace the one on your computer. That's maybe handy if you have different copies of, of Dreamweaver. Maybe you have one on your laptop and one on your desktop computer at home, or maybe there's one at, at school or something like that. So that's kind of handy. And uh, anyway, it's it's pretty easy to do to set that up. Um, I'll just go back and under site here and go to manage sites. And there's my site there. I'll hit edit. Okay, and under servers here, um, I'll just click this uh, plus arrow to add a new server. I haven't added one yet. And server name, this is just, yeah, it's probably not even that important. Um, server, I'll call it. And um, FTP address, this is all information you'll get from your, your web host. In my case, it's just, I'll type it all in here. And uh, that port there, you can just leave it as is, it's not a big deal. And So enter in whatever your information is. And root directory, this is the, the folder on your web server that's going to mirror all the files that you create on your, uh, 
on your computer. So um, you need to either make this on your uh, your web host uh, if it doesn't exist, which uh, there's a good chance it probably doesn't if this is a new project. So uh, I'll show you I'll show you how to do that really quickly here. Uh, just pop open my my just host control panel here. Uh, this is um, you'll you'll get access to your control panel. Um, just through uh, through the email they send you when, when you first sign up, they'll have a link over there. But in any case, um, you can you can actually manage your files and and access those files through this panel too. Um, so I'm just going to show you quickly uh, how we can make a folder to um, to point Dreamweaver to, and uh, and that's where all all our files for our, our site will go. So I'll click. File Manager here under Files, okay, and the you're gonna want to probably select Web Root right here. I'll just show you what that means really quickly. I mean, you you can select these other ones too, but um, if I hit Go right now, okay, it's loading. This is where all those files go that that you see when you type in my domain name in the web browser. So. You're not, you're not actually going to see these files, but this is how this is where they go. And um, if I hadn't selected web root, all I would have to do is over on this side, click www, okay. But uh, it, if I hadn't selected it, I might have wound up just right here, which is you'll have some other folders and files which are more or less irrelevant to you guys. Uh, but in any case, I'll go back into www. Okay, so this is where I want my, my folder to go. I need to create a folder here. And to do that, I'll just say new folder. And I'll name it uh, my-site. Okay, so remember, remember too, not to be putting spaces in any of your file names or folder names. Um, that, that might throw off a web browser when it's trying to access any of your, your site at all. So just just remember that not to ever put spaces at all or any kind of funny characters for that matter like dollar signs or percent i would stay away from that just just use dashes or maybe underscores or something so i'll hit create new folder okay so now i have this my site folder and i'll just click into it here just to show you all right so it's empty right now but what i'll do is i'll copy this uh, up in the top corner here. This is the path to the folder on my web host that I can copy and when I go back into Dreamweaver uh, for the root directory of my site I'll just paste that in there and now Dreamweaver knows that anytime I want to upload files that it'll put it in that folder on my web host. So I can actually hit test here and make sure I got all my information right and Dreamweaver says yep Okay, so I'll hit save, and I'll hit save again and close that up, and I'll get this prompt just because I never have had, a, uh, this is sort of a new thing I'm setting up, so I'll just say okay, don't worry about that, and I'll say done, okay, and uh, now all I have to do is start making uh, any kind of web pages or um, any other kind of documents, CSS, images, anything like that. And uh, when I when I start adding them to the site, uh, I can easily upload them now just by selecting them down here and just hitting upload or sync, however I want to do it. So quickly, just to show you, I'll create a new HTML page. Okay, and uh, I talked about this um, uh, a, cu a couple days ago there. Um, the split and design and code view, how you can just flip in between them is kind of nice in Dreamweaver. Um, I like to use this split just so that I can uh, just sort of add things in quickly here in the design view and just make sure uh, when I'm doing them that everything looks good over here on the on the code view. Um, as you as you start using it a little more, you'll you'll be able to sort of learn what's happening, and uh, and it'll be. Uh, It'll be a lot better for, for learning this stuff too. So anyway, um, I'll just add in some text here.
Okay. I'll say save. And we're going to want to name this index.html because, as you guys know, uh, or maybe don't know, you need to name the first the first page when they come to your uh, when they type in your site is going to be called uh, index.html. So that's that's where your web browser is going to uh, that's the file your web browser is going to look for to um, to access your website. So I'll just hit save, and sure enough, down here in my files panel, uh, I get index.html. It shows up. So this isn't online quite yet. The next thing I would have to do is I can either hit upload right here or I can hit sync. And sync is kind of nice because if I hit preview now, Dreamweaver will detect that this is as this does not exist on my my web host just yet. So uh, if I hit OK, Dreamweaver will do an upload for me. And down here it says file activity complete. So now I should be able to type in this address. And there it is. Uh, Dreamweaver uploaded that site for me. And um, it was just the one file, but it, it'll actually manage just about as many files as you want. So, um, and, and as you build on that site, it, it'll become more and more important that you had set that up at the start because uh, once you start adding more files in there, your site can get a lot more complicated and it'll start managing links and things like that for you, which, uh, which will be really handy. And uh, it'll save a lot of confusion for you guys and, and a, lot of, a lot of headache too. So. Uh, it's definitely a good thing to set up when, when you first get started here.